An Ode to My Chromebook O oh, noble Chromebook, the silicon within thy plastic case quickens to life once more and illumines my student's face. Thou awakens their minds as they tap on thy keys and swipe on thy trackpad to navigate with ease. Yet, O oh, monolith of learning, thy ways so often perplex and thy inevitable glitches the students and I doth vex. Where might I find the potion? Who will teach me the charm that will set thee aright so I do thee no harm? Oh, hi. I guess I could show you how to fix those Chromebook glitches. Hey, I'm Andy, and today on Tech Tuna, I'll show you how to power wash a Chromebook this is the best way to fix both software and hardware glitches. Does this sound familiar? These keys are not working on my keyboard. I need to do my assignment. My internet is not working. I can't do it. This Google Doc is taking forever to load. Can you please help me? Well, before you send these students to the LMC for tech support, first have them power wash their devices. Think of power washing as resetting the Chromebook to its original out of the box factory settings. So let's begin by, hold on a second. We have a caller with a question on line one. Go ahead, caller. Uh, yeah, thanks. Say, won't I lose everything if I reset my Chromebook? I mean, what about my bookmarks, passwords, and files? Doesn't power washing delete those? Great question. And nope, almost everything important including your user profile, browsing data, and Google files are stored in the cloud, not on your device. Uh, you said almost everything is saved. So what isn't? Well, you will lose files stored on your Chromebook itself. So before you power wash the device, move any important files from the My Files folder into your Google Drive. Let me show you how to do that. Log into the device and click here on the launcher. Then, Click on the Files icon. If you have important files here in the Downloads folder or in the Google Play folders, drag those into your Google Drive folder. There, now they are all saved in the cloud. And you'll lose that custom desktop wallpaper picture. So hopefully you'll have that backed up somewhere too. But that's it, caller. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Thanks for the help. Sure. Okay, now we are ready to power wash our Chromebook. Here's the easiest way to do that. If you are logged in, go ahead and log out so that you're back on the sign-in screen. There we go. Now press and hold the Shift, Control, and Alt keys, and then the R key, R is for reset. Then click on the blue power wash option and confirm your choice. This power wash process takes about a minute. There are a few on-screen prompts you'll need to respond to, but it's as simple as that. Finally, log in and you should be good to go. In most cases, a single power wash will take care of the problem, but we've also found that stubborn glitches require a second or a third power washing. Well, there you have it. A peek behind the curtain at how we solve many of the issues students have with their Chromebooks. That's going to do it for now. See you next time on Tech Tune Up.